hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make a lace jumpsuit with a short lining so this is the one i made for my client and it has um a lacing at the back and you can see the jumpsuit has an a-line shape so i am going to teach you guys how i made this from start to finish so you will need at least two yards of lace at least and the length should not be less than 45 inches so first of all i'll cut the front part so i'll fold my lace into two you will divide your hip by four plus six inches that would be enough so the full length is 62 and you can see where i placed my 62 i placed my 62 at the edge of this lace so that i can get the design at the edge i want it to be at the full length so from there you mark your half length my half length is 17 but i mark 16 and half my hip length is 27 my crotch is one inch below my hip length that is 28 and my knee length is 36 normally it is supposed to be 37 but i made it 36 so that the a line shape will come up a bit so first of all we'll mark our hip measurement our hip is 40 so 40 divided by 4 is 10 the first measurement you take while measuring your jumpsuit or your trouser is your hip. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. And 10 plus 1 inch seam allowance is 11. So from there, you will make a straight line to meet your waistline. To meet your waist, you can see I am connecting a straight line from the point where I measured my hip to the waistline so after that you take your waistline from this particular line so you divide your waist by four plus one inch seam allowance so there will be no dart on this jumpsuit if you want to add it that's fine but i think it is not necessary so i marked my waist measurement and I, i'll connect my waist to my hip so the next is our crotch measurement um uh, my crotch depth is 28 that is one inch below my hip line so i'll mark my crotch curve that is 2.5 the 2.5 is that i divided my hip by 4 that is 10 and i divided by 10 by 4 again that is 2.5 that was how i got my crotch curve so from your hip line you come down by three inches these three inches is where you take your crotch curve so find the midpoint of this trouser and then this um three inches below the hip line is where you measure your lapse measurement so i came down by three inches from the hip and that was where i took my lapse measurement so at my knee measurement you will take your knee circumference our knee circumference is 18 divided by two that is nine plus one inch seam allowance that is 10 so i marked 10 so i'll call from my hip to my knee and from my crotch to my knee as well so for a detailed trouser class i um, i have a course going on so you can register for a detailed trouser class so after that you make an a-line shape from the knee to the full length of the trouser i want this trouser to have like um, a small a shape at the down part so i'll go ahead and cut out and you can see that it has an a-line shape so i am done cutting out the front part so right now i'll place my front on my back so i have folded my fabric for the back part and i'll place my front on it please make sure that they are equal at the full length so that the scallop or the design at the full length of the lace will be there because i will not fold the down part you can see they are equal at the down part so the back parts are going to do some few I'm going to do few manipulations. So from the center, the center of the um, trouser is where I took my crotch curve, right? So from there, I will come in by two inches. I will subtract two inches from the center. That is at the back. I will subtract two inches and I will transfer the two inches to my hip side. I will transfer it to my hip side. I will also add extra two two inches along my hip area 
and then connect it to the waist so i'm done with that i'll also extend my crotch curve by two inches i'm sorry if you can't see everything clearly so i'll extend my crotch curve by two inches as well so add the at the back part you connect to your crotch curve you connect that area where you subtracted to to your crotch curve so right now remember our zipper allowance will be at the back this trouser will be we have a zipper at the back so at the center of the back come up by 1.5 this is a jumpsuit so i came up by 1.5 inches and then slanted it to that area where i measured two at the hip area so right now i'll add two inches and when i reach my knee i'll add just one and a half so i will keep on connecting the lines from the hip to the knee if you have before watching this video i think you should have a basic understanding of a trouser then i'll connect my crotch curve to my knee that is the crotch curve at the center you you slant it to your knee so right now i'll go ahead and cut out the back part you can see at the side the hip is two inches bigger than that of the front so for the zipper allowance you add one and a half or two two inches zipper allowance and you stop at the knee area at the hip area you can see the back i'll go ahead and cut out my zipper allowance you can see i added my zipper allowance and when i reach the hip area i'll go in so you can see my zipper allowance around there you also notch it so that you know where to pick your zipper allowance from so i'll go ahead and cut out the rest of the back part of this trouser So we have the front and the back already so time for our doll face remember this trouser has a short lining so you go ahead and notch where you want your lining to stop at so i'll subtract my half length like i did before i'll subtract my half length that is 17 and i will mark where i want my lining to stop you can see where i placed it i placed it in and half i want my short lining to stop at 34 inches so i marked 34 that means you will notch those areas you notch the front and the back so that you will know where the lining will stop please remember to notch this but if you cannot notch it you can use your chalk to mark it so that you will know where the lining will stop at so right now i am going to cut out my lining and they will be short all of them will stop at the knee area and also after cutting out this lining our door face i'll use a door face as the lining so after cutting out this lining you also cut out another lining for it because i don't want to fold the door face so that people will not be seeing any stitch at the on the short line I don't know if you get so if you cut out this short lining you also cut out another lining for it the one you are going to turn it with because i don't want to fold the edge of this lining i said it before so i'll go ahead and cut out for the back as well and both of them will stop at 34 34 inches and after cutting them out i'll go ahead and cut my lining as well i'll cut out a lining for this doll face so if you want you can use a cutting lining or a normal lining but i couldn't lay my hands on a lining i decided to use a doll face normally i like using a doll face as my lining when make when making a lace it gives me a smoother finishing so right now i'll cut out the lining so this is for the back i'll go ahead and cut the lining and i'll also cut the lining for the front you understand what i'm saying later i will hem i will turn the hem of this shorts of this door face with um a door face again so that the hem or the edge will be very very smooth so you can see 
I'll go ahead and cut out the lining for the front. So I'm done cutting the line and here is the front part. I have cut out the pieces, the center, the side and the illusion neckline. The front is going to have an initial illusion neckline. So if you want to learn how to sew this illusion neckline, you can check out my previous videos where I explained very well on how to make illusion necklines. So this is the back pattern. The back pattern also has a yoke and i reduced the back by two inches because i will lace it if you have been following me you will know so this is the sleeve i use i want to use an illusion um net as well for the sleeve so you are free to use any fabric of your choice for the sleeve so i'll show you guys the lining for the trouser so you can see this is my lining for the trouser i have four pieces the main lining with the underlining, the main lining with the underlining. That's why I have four pieces. I've also cut out the lining for the back part. So right now, I'll go ahead and turn to both of them. I'll go ahead and hem them at the edge. I'll do the same thing to the back. I will hem them at the edge, only at the edge. And do not top stitch. Please do not top stitch. Just turn the down part alone and hold the rest with a stitch so this is the back part i am done turning i'll use an eyelet for my lace seam then this is the front i am done joining the fabric and i will use a bra cup for this i don't want to cut out a part for it i want to use this bra cup for it so i'll go ahead and attach my bra cup to the bust area if I'm making this type of dress, especially dresses that have illusion necklines, I love using this type of cup, a round cup. So I'll go ahead and insert the two of them and then hold them down with a pin. And after, you will go ahead and hand stitch. So I am holding them down with a pin right now and after this I am going to hand stitch. So right now, after attaching the bra cup, I'll go ahead and turn them with their lining and then iron. So this is the lining for the lace for the trouser. You can see I have turned the down part and they are looking very neat. The edge of this lining is looking very neat. So I turned only the down part and then ran a stitch on the other side. So right now, I'll place my lace on them and i will pin them down so i'll go to my sewing machine and hold the lace and the lining together using my sewing machine so i am placing them together right now i will do the same thing for the back then i'll go to my sewing machine and hold them down so after holding them down i will close the zipper allowance for this back part so here is the back part. I have I have joined the lace to the door face and I have also closed the zipper allowance. You can see my zipper allowance. I have closed it and I have joined my crotch area. So right now, I'll show you guys the front. So the front also, I have joined my lace to my lining and I have joined the two of them together. So right now, I'll place the front side of this trouser and the back part together and then I will take my measurements so i'll arrange them very well and i will pin them together 
I'll pin them together. Then I'll go ahead and take my hip measurement and my waist measurement. And then you will shape the side with one inch seam allowance. And when you are shaping the inside, you will now take your laps, your knee measurements and the rest. So right now I'll mark my measurements. My hip is 40. So 40 divided by 2 is 20 so i'll go ahead and mark 20 my waist is 29 the waist of this jumpsuit the actual weight is a actual waist is actual uh, is um 30 inches but i reduced it to 29 inches because i wanted to snatch the waist a bit since we are using a lacing at the back so i'll mark my waist measurements that is 14 and a half 29 divided by 2 is 14 and a half so i marked and i shaped so i am done shaping the trouser and i will cut off the rough edge i'll i'll also i'll cut off the rough um edge that is around the waistline so you go ahead and iron this trouser very well iron it from the inside before ironing from the outside so after that i'll go ahead and trim off this rough part on the along the waistline so remember the upper part of this jumpsuit um is laced right so when you are joining the upper part and the lower part of this jumpsuit normally the upper part will not reach the zipper allowance so you have like two inches space before the zipper allowance itself but that is not a problem i'll show you guys how to do that so i am done with the trouser for now and over to the upper part so i have turned the front part with a lining and right now i'll take my bust measurement and my waist measurement then i'll pin the front and the back together and i'll go ahead and shape so after shaping i'll also add my sleeve i told you guys that i used in a skin illusion for my sleeve so i am done shaping and i have done i am done ironing so i'll measure my half length and then trim after trimming i'll also trim the armhole so that is it for the front right now so i'll go ahead and trim off the excess allowance and i will join the upper part and the lower part of this jumpsuit together so remember if you are joining the upper part will not reach the zipper allowance so just go ahead and join and then i'll come back and show you guys what i have so i am done joining and you can see the upper part did not reach the zipper allowance it stopped at two inches before the zipper allowance so you go ahead and fold that area with a bias the remaining area you can fold it with a bias or you you can just fold it like that then after folding it you will now go ahead and add your zipper allowance i couldn't overlock this because the sequence was really disturbing so after closing that area remaining at the waistline you can now add your zipper allowance on the on the trouser so after that this is what we have guys our trouser is so beautiful our jumpsuit is so so beautiful so i will i, I made an eyelet for it that is for tying it at the back and i also made an extra fabric for covering the back so thank you guys for watching please do not forget to register for our trouser and jumpsuit class it's just 2000 naira so thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe so that you can be getting more amazing videos from me thank you guys so much and see you in my next video bye